It's match 17, the Hero Indian Super League, former champions Bengaluru in a tailspin as they chase their first win in seven games when they take on Odisha at the Fatorda. It's part two of our Super Sunday. Chetri has four goals this campaign, but has scored twice in three previous encounters against Odisha, including a goal in the 2-1 triumph on December the 17th. Diego Maurizio has scored six goals, half of Odisha's total, while the Spaniard Onwu has not opened his account in 11 appearances in Season 7 of the Hero Indian Super League. Odisha is rooted at the bottom of the Hero Indian Super League with just seven from 12 matches. There has been a revival of late, losing just once in their previous four. And during this recent run, the Kalinga Warriors finally broke the drought with a 4-2 victory against Kerala on January the 7th. Last Tuesday, Odisha drew 1-1 against the top four side Hyderabad, having also taken a point in two back-to-back -back fixtures against the two-time champions Chennai. Odisha has never won a game at the Fatorda. The Blues are in the midst of their worst of a run in the Hero Indian Super League with Hyderabad and Jamshapur drawing earlier today. The former champions are now five points outside the top four. On December the 14th at this ground, Bengaluru secured their best triumph in season seven, defeating Kerala 4-2. And four days later, they did account for Odisha 2-1. But that's where the party and the joy ended on the back of a season opening six match undefeated streak in six matches since just one point has come as it's match 70 of our super sunday no goals earlier today which is a good result for bengaluru as we get set for kickoff in match 70. emotion is lifting kickoff is looming and the man in the middle officiating is one of the most experienced mr tejas Nagbenko has been here in the hero indian super leagues from season one he's local actually he's a 34 year old going a nice tuck inside by Clayton, and it's not going to concern Arshdeep Singh much worry in that goal for Odisha FC. He's made 32 saves, just the one clean sheet, but he has been a consistent performer. Ninth game in a row. It's a foul, it's a set piece, and it's a threat. They take it quickly. <laughs> That is a remarkable start. The flag stayed down. Maricha says, that's my seventh goal of the campaign. I'm now two within the top scorer, Angulo of Goa, and one behind Vauskas. Well, it looked comfortable for the former champions, Bengaluru. They've been crushed early on. But we're talking only eight minutes in, and it was the brightness, the sharpness of a quick free kick. And it was just rolled into Jerry's path, and he's put it on a plate. And he stretched for me, I thought, with the wrong foot, but he's managed to steer it into the goal. Remarkable goal. Odantas over there now. He gets a dangerous ball in. It just required a touch. And if he keeps the run going, it's a tap in from close range. Gurpreet catches across there, and his distribution to Sunil Chetri was nothing short of first class. This normal set piece where they switch the play and then play a diagonal ball. And the forceful header. He got onto it. Of all players, it's a right fullback who's come up. We know he can score some great goals with the head. Well, Becke is going the long throw. Bartolu on the turn! And what a save! The keeper had to reach and extend. It was a difficult attempt to make from the Australian, but he hit it clean. Will this one be any different to the others? It will be because Becke's on the end of it and Arstev saves to his right. The keeper has stood tallest here tonight. He keeps the scoreline at 1-0. It was a wonderful corner. Becke met it perfectly. Norwegian striker Christian Opseth has come on for Bengaluru, desperate to do what he hasn't done in Season 7 of the Hero Indian Super League and get his first ever goal in India. The team that are leading will get us underway for this second half. An eight-minute goal from Diego Maurizio, who plays it forward. Remember, Rayleigh bounced a couple of times before he hit the goalkeeper. He's got to strike this with some venom to beat the keeper. He does hit it from distance and the keeper just plays it safe. 
That's the 19th attempt from the Norwegian this season, but still no goal against his name. Closely tracked. Shreus whips it in to Dangerous Ball, headed down and offset goes waiting and the keeper saves. Could have been an OG. Not just Chetri claiming at the back post like he normally do. He expects this from Sunil Chetri, but I think the defender redirects it and it's a wonderful save. Udanta, delicate touch. Dangerous ball, header, and it's off target. The centre back also being given a chance to consolidate a place in the starting 11. The big fellas come on. I don't think they should get sucked into a long game. They were playing well enough. Oh, that is the pass of the game. Here he comes, and the keeper at the other end saves the day, denying Jerry. Jerry was on his way because of that defence bidding ball in search of a fourth goal in the Hero Indian Super League in his 56th game. That's great vision, that by Omu, great vision. He's put it inside the fullback, and he's a quality player. But they're picking on Parag to a certain extent, and Jerry, he does well at the fullback to get back and get a challenge in. But Jerry works the goalkeeper, he can't ask any more, apart from sticking in the back of the net. The wall is set, the Brazilian is ready, he whips it! It's clipped the crossbar. It's getting close, but not close enough just yet. And the keeper, he doesn't, he's looking, he's thinking it's in the net. He has a little look, doesn't make a dive, it hits the top of the crossbar. And his reaction is he thought it had gone in the net. Jerry. No one pulling back. The return for Jerry is in a dangerous position. Wanan's strength too strong. Did it take a touch off Gurpreet? It did. It's a corner. It's end-to-end -end football. Just how we love it here. Clayton. It's dangerous. Yeah! And it is. It is an assist because the Aussie who scores the bulk of his goals with the head. Eric Bartolou is on the end of the corner. His ninth goal in the Hero Indian Super League in match 61. And that is his seventh header. They're in the contest. It's a dramatic ending coming up. It's 1-1 at the Fatora. I've just said it, we're coming to the last 10 minutes. If they're ever going to win the game, they need to score now, but Eric Bartolou's Clayton's put it on a sixpence, Partelou's being brave, Partelou, it hits the back of his head, Taylor's man, it hits the back of his head and goes into it, this is set up lovely for the last 10 minutes now Andy, this could go either way, for these last 10 minutes anything can happen, I can't call it Andy. Well, right now you, you might have to call a second, how does it miss the target, how does that not go in, Daniel, Danielson, Looking for a fifth goal in his career. The door opened. It's just clipped the post. What an escape for Bengaluru FC. We've seen the woodwork struck at both ends in the second half. Clayton had a free kick. That's Chetri's in the box. Chetri! Oh, he's blazed over! I cannot believe it! You can normally put your house on him scoring here. Cole Alexander again, it's a great pass. Nanda Kumar, uh, Diego Maricho rather, now he's just lifted up. Jerry's onside, and Gurpreet with a save of the game. He's complaining, he felt that Jerry was offside. The keepers have stood up tall tonight. Gurpreet Singh dives quickly to his right. It stays at 1-1. They'll be aiming for Partalu. It's a decoy. It's a touch on by Clayton Silva. It's a head on now, the ball! And it's upset, who's driven it over. Bengaluru fans must be weeping. They've had their moments to kill the game, and so have Adisha. Control is at the utmost here. It's played on for Chetri, and the defence clears the line. The referee looks at his watch. He calls an end to what has been a massive game, a massive battle. It's like two heavyweights going toe-to-toe -to -toe for 12 rounds. It had everything. It had goals. It had saves. The honours were shared in match 70. Bengaluru won. Odisha won.